It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another edition of the Daily Doug. I am thankful that you are here today. So I, <laughs> I've, I've been looking through uh, my uh, my episode list and trying to figure out uh, what to do this week. And, and when I was looking at my schedule for this week, I realized it has been far too long since I have had a song by Nightwish on the channel. It's been since episode 101. How, how did we let that happen? <laughs> so I wanted to look for another Nightwish tune to do. And the one that I've picked for today is called Yours is an Empty Hope. This song is off of Endless Forms Most Beautiful, which is an album that they put out back in 2015. This was the very first studio album by Nightwish to include uh, Flor Jansen on vocals and uh, Troy Donockley, um in the band. And uh, this track is the fourth track on the album. And uh, I, I have picked today uh, a version of it that they uh, performed live on a cruise ship. Uh, which intrigues me. I've never been on a big time cruise way out in the open ocean on one of those huge ocean liners. But uh, if anything could get me out there, it would be uh, the prospect of hearing a couple of Nightwish uh, shows uh, while I'm out there. It would be kind of fun, right? Um, this song strikes me as um, sort of a, a grudge or a, a disagreement between people. <laughs> and they may be long friends or they may be people that have never met each other. But uh, the point of view is, uh, I think, uh, talking about just internet trolls, uh, people that, that spew a lot of crazy stuff on the internet. The very first words are, tear me to bits, enjoy the scene uh, of screen name verbal vanity. Uh, churning the words imbued in filth, your tongue, oily water under my bridge. I think they're talking about, you know, we're, we're public uh, uh, folks. Uh, we uh, uh, accept the criticism and, and judgment of fans and critics alike, but uh, chill yourself out a little bit. You know, if you're hoping for us to take what you are spewing at us to heart and make it... Uh, affect us emotionally, you got another thing coming. I think they're saying, you know, yours is an empty hope. I can't make you want the truth. It's up to you, right? So they're saying, you know what? Um, you know, F off, <laughs> I think is really what they're talking about. Uh, how do you musically tell someone to, to F off? Well, let, let, us, let us see. Uh, this is gonna be Nightwish, yours is an empty hope uh, from a, a, a cruise ship in 2015, back when the song was relatively new to them. I am curious to see what it sounds like. I hope you are as well. So here we go. Yours is an empty hope. Let's hit it. Thank you! You are welcome, Phil. On the Baltic Princess, the 8th of June. It's almost six years ago to the day. Get close. <laughs> like seeing them have some fun. Big D minor hits. D minor power hits. It's a relatively small stage for them. I can only imagine the old people on the, on the cruise ship going, it's too loud, I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> driving, driving. Sound. Turning the words in beauty and filth, your tongue oily water under my bridge. Key. 
They moved up a minor third to F. Back down to D minor. Get a four. Beat me to pigs in your fantasies. Your sea roar bitter elegies like narcissists who bright support Apollo boys ruled with it. It's amazing. You're like, just F off. <laughs> This chorus comes back, so they're back and forth between D minor and F minor. There is a common tone in that. That's a release chromatic third uh, pivots over the F. It's common in both chords. Back down to D. with everything else I've seen of them. The backing chorus, the, uh, the, the orchestral instruments, it's all uh, done unbelievably well, including all of those sounds in their live performance. Something I really um, admire about their work. In addition to be to being one of the better lead singers in all of rock music, she's got an unbelievable stage presence uh, as like sort of the front person of the band. They moved up to E minor and then moved right back down to D minor. It was an interesting little side trip. Tonic, but those are diminished chords. That's totally cool. There's some angst in that performance, right? an interesting bit I want to rewind this a little bit the the melody here is is quite uh, intriguing um, I they're moving to F minor and they start in the fifth C to B natural back to C to D flat to E flat and back and this one goes up. It's using that uh, that tritone away from uh, away from uh, the, the tonic of the key or the root of that chord. It adds a sinister sort of uh, foreboding quality to the sound. Yeah, that was a floor at the end. It was a little pitchy, dog. <laughs> but I get it. Wow, I can't believe they have a venue that big for all those people on a cruise ship. And thank you so very much. But then again, I've never been on a cruise before. Subscribe to watch for more. Of course I will. I am subscribed to Nightwish. I hope that you are as well. Uh, in fact, uh, I, I need to uh, to watch some of the footage from Nightwish's uh, 
a big concert that they've just had. They just had a big virtual concert, and I didn't get to to uh, to pay and and be a part of that as it aired. But I'm hoping they'll make that available to us as they go. What a powerful angsty sound. That's a little harder edged for them than than the other stuff of theirs that that I've that I've listened to. Uh, previously, but I, I really, really dug it. It's it's quite tightly constructed. It's it it doesn't have too many differing ideas. It just uh, just drives home this this really um, angst driven narrative. Like you can't um, say bad things about me on the internet and and expect me to take them personally or me to have any sort of big time hurt by that. If you want to know the truth, I am happy to tell you. But uh, if you're not interested in the truth, then then you can just go have a Coke and a smile, right? I think that's really the basic uh, idea of, of the song and uh, anger and, uh, like I said, angst and disagreement and self-preservation. Uh, those are powerful um, <laughs> types of emotions to, to write about and sing about. So great stuff. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed that. It was great to get back to some Nightwish, and we'll keep including some more Nightwish on the channel as we continue. So, thanks for being with me today for this edition of The Daily Doug, and we will see you next time for another edition of The Daily Doug.